The views and events expressed here are totally fucked and are not necessarily the views of anyone. However, the events and suggestions that appear on this album are not to be taken lightly. <laughs> here relics relics um <clears throat> see the black and white going on so you know it's gonna be a wrestling or an mma type of uh, conversation <clears throat> so the big news came out thank god this happened actually before wrestlemania um i've been waiting to kind of hear uh, because that's really kind of decided on how um, how this WrestleMania is going to play out. Because if you didn't know, Brock Lesnar went ahead and just signed a multi-year deal with the WWE. It's good news for the WWE. Um, it's bad news for any MMA fans, which I'm also a big MMA fan. I, I love wrestling, but... I also love MMA. In fact, MMA's uh, been better to me for the last couple of years because WWE's been honestly boring as shit. Um, you know, I've I've enjoyed watching TNA, and they've kind of been giving me my wrestling itch. But man, I've been I've been I felt like I've been getting fed scraps for the last so many years. So. But now, I mean, it was a matter of if if Brock Lesnar was signing with uh, the UFC, then it's obvious the main event's obviously spoiled, and you obviously know that Brock Lesnar was going to lose. Um, because, I mean, Vince has that reputation. <laughs> All, uh, Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart... Um, He's not going to go ahead. If someone's leaving the company, he's not going to leave the belt on him. So um, it ended up happening where Vince McMahon went ahead and sat down at the table, had some negotiations with Brock Lesnar, brought up this big, huge, gigantic truck full of money, I mean, big, huge dumpsters, and just like started pouring them all out on his fucking front lawn and said, hey, whatever it fucking takes, just... Just, just stay here, man. I don't want to fire you. And that's, that's exactly what happened. So Brock Lesnar went ahead and took a look and said, well, I don't want to fucking work for it, though. I only want to go ahead and work, you know, once every three months or so. That's fine. Don't worry. I'll pay you full time. So Brock Lesnar took a look at his career in the UFC. There's definitely some things that he didn't quite accomplish. I mean, he was the UFC heavyweight champion. I mean, that was awesome. But, I mean, once when he ended up getting sick and his whole entire career just kind of went downhill fast. Um, I mean, he just got his ass whooped by Alers, uh, by Overeem. And, I mean, just got destroyed by him. And it's like Brock Lesnar kind of left on an embarrassing note with the UFC. And so, I mean... It, I say that it's not really, I mean, the dude was freaking sick. I mean, he almost freaking died. So yeah, I mean, the fact that he was just even able to compete is freaking amazing. I mean, the guy's an athlete like nothing else. Um, he's absolutely amazing, but <clears throat> I would have really liked to have not seen his career in the way it did in MMA because I really think he was capable of so much more. Um, and now we'll never find out because he decided, fuck my MMA career. I am going to go down the wrestling path. So as a wrestler fan, I'm kind of happy, but at the same time, I also don't. I 
I've fucking, I've hated this last friggin, God, it seems like forever. What is it? Six, seven, eight months of Brock Lesnar's reign of <clears throat> the heavyweight championship being completely non-existent, <clears throat> no storylines with it, no anything, just all these guys kind of scraping to go ahead and try and get at him, and then Brock Lesnar shows up once every fucking three months, once every three fucking pay-per-views, and just whoops all their fucking asses, and like, it, I mean, the, <clears throat> there's like, bro in, in the WWE world, in the WWE universe, there's Brock Lesnar, and there's fucking everybody else. And that's the way they've been positioning him. And so it's kind of boring and ridiculous. I mean, it's amazing to go ahead and watch him whoop these people's asses. And the fact that he's a UFC heavyweight champion and the fact that he could really whoop these people's asses in real life definitely makes it feel okay. But at the same time, it's also... As a wrestling storyline, it's fucking boring. It's boring to have a wrestler who only shows up every three months and the entire rest of the time, there's no fucking champion. You got Raw every single week, four weeks a month, and friggin' there's no fucking champion. So, and to think that's what it's going to end up happening from this point on, so yeah, my my wrestling predictions for WrestleMania is obviously uh, I think Brock Lesnar is going to end up beating him. Um, I think that's a, a no brainer right there, and he's going to continue his reign. Um, the, I was looking over the card actually, and there's actually some really good matches um, on this card. I was actually originally thinking like, man, this fucking card sucks, but actually there is some matches that I'm sort of interested in. The Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. That's gotten a little bit more exciting now that I know that he's going to actually be staying in WWE. Um, so I definitely pick Brock Lesnar to win that one. Um, Sting versus Triple H. Um, that one's going to be very interesting, honestly. I don't have a slightest clue on who's going to win. Um, honestly, well, I do. Actually, I think Sting's going to actually win it. Um, you know, he's the, the new baby face that came in and um, Triple H is the evil heel, so uh, he's going to take another loss at WrestleMania again. So that's going to be, but I think that's going to be an amazing match. I think that's going to be, be a, a classic. Um, you got two classic, unbelievable workers going in there and just kicking some ass. So I'm looking forward to that one. Um, <clears throat> Andre, <clears throat> Andre the Giant uh, Memorial Battle Royal. Who the fuck cares about that? That's just ridiculous. Uh, Intercontinental uh, title ladder match. Um, honestly, I could give a rat's fuck about the fucking Intercontinental, Intercontinental title. Um, I mean, I'm hoping that this might be a WrestleMania stealer. You got a lot of really good wrestlers in it that can definitely turn it into a uh, possible WrestleMania moment and and steal the night. Um, I mean, people like Daniel Bryan and um, uh, Dean Ambrose and I mean, there's he got our truth maybe. <laughs> I don't know. We got the bull hammer. I mean, that might be might be hitting. So you know, you never know. I mean, it it could turn out to be a good match. Um, Undertaker versus Bri uh, Bray Wyatt. That's um, that's the big match that I'm actually looking forward to for WrestleMania. That's the that's actually my the main one that is making me spend the nine ninety nine. I mean, would it make me spend fucking uh, sixty five dollars for a pay per view? Hell fucking no. Um, but that is the advantage of the WWE Network and stuff is that at least the pay per views aren't freaking so much money so um 9.99 i'd pay for undertaker versus bray wyatt any day so that's actually worth the price of of wrestlemania right there um rusev versus john cena i think this could actually be a really good match um 
we'll see. Uh, I think, you know, John Cena brings out definitely the best and all the wrestlers. So I think, and Russo has been impressive as of late. I mean, he's had some decent matches with, with John Cena so far. So I like to see what they can do when all the lights are, are on them. So, uh, this might be actually a, uh, WrestleMania moment stealer. You know, this might be the WrestleMania match stealer. We'll see as far as how things, how things end up going. Um, uh, the AJ Lee, Page, Bella Twins, all that. Who the fuck fucking cares about the freaking women wrestling? It's freaking horrible in the WWE. It's so bad. Fucking NXT is good. Fucking TNA women's wrestling is excellent. Um, I enjoy that quite a bit. But, man, I, in fact, I, I can't really say I enjoy it all, quite a bit. I mean, I enjoy it to the level of a women's wrestling can go ahead and be. Um but it's, yeah, this one's a joke. <clears throat> Randy Orton versus Seth Rollins. Another one, you got two amazing wrestlers um, going up against each other with a mediocre storyline. Um, but I think they can actually end up pulling out something special. I mean, Seth Rollins has been showing some amazing wrestling skills and especially in his pay-per-views i mean he's been showing some high spots like nothing else i mean it's it's been pretty amazing um randy orton i mean he's just 100 percent. he's one of the best wrestlers i've ever seen in wrestling so um i mean he's just perfect on the way he does everything so it's just i love watching him work <clears throat> so to uh, see this match, this is definitely one of those matches that could end up being a uh, WrestleMania moment stealer. You know, that's the thing is like, there's a lot of with this WrestleMania. There's not, it doesn't seem like there's all this build up around one match. There's actually a few different matches that could end up turning out to be absolutely amazing. But it's it's definitely the biggest question mark WrestleMania. I've ever seen. I mean, this is kind of like a normal type of, well, this could be really good with like other pay-per-views, but this never ends up happening for a WrestleMania where it's like, well, it could be a good WrestleMania, but it could be shit. You know, you don't know a hundred percent. I'm, I'm not putting all my money on it, but that's just the, the way, you know, that's the way this WrestleMania is going is just kind of, it's being booked as like a mediocre pay-per-view. Um, or a mid a mid level pay per view and not a WrestleMania, which is really kind of it shows you the state of the WWE. That's for sure. Um, and then you got the Fatal Four Way match, which who the fuck cares about this man? You got friggin' God, the fucking tag team in WWE is just pathetic. It's just so bad. Friggin' pathetic. This is a fucking WrestleMania friggin' match. You know, you got the Usos going up against the fucking whoever the... F I don't even know who the hell the Mexican friggin' people are. Fucking stupid bull thing. Um, with their little midget and stuff. Then you got the fucking New Day, which, oh my god, they're fucking annoying. I hate them like nothing else. And then you got Cesaro. I mean, <laughs> it's just like, you got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guys, and you got one fucking good wrestler and eight fucking guys. You know? <laughs> it's just like, wow. That's what the wrestling fucking WWE. Unbelievable. I mean, just unbelievable. You got one whole fucking package, and then everybody else has like their little their little mid-level high spots, you know. That they've always performed in. You know, none of these guys have been anything except for Cesaro. And unfortunately, Cesaro just keeps on getting pushed down to the to the middle of the pack. I mean, he sits there and crawls and scratches his way up to the friggin' be like, no, I'm better than all these guys. And then fucking WWE says, Nope, no, you're not. <laughs> and just shoves you right down in the fucking uh this is just the fucking tag teams a mess. All right, well, so that's pretty much my predictions with WrestleMania. Um, uh, most of it, honestly, I'm going to be fucking fast-forwarding through a bunch of WrestleMania, which is really disappointing. I mean, at least it's fucking only 10 bucks. so...
But yeah, that's that's the state of the WWE right now. So all right, well, relic out. Rise from your grave. <laughs>